Okay, this is the master cylinder off of my 1983 Honda Shadow VT750C. I have drilled out these screws because the old ones were busted off. I won't say they're busted off, the old ones were stripped. So I drilled them out and I put these new screws in there. Now I'm going to replace this glass, hopefully, and not break the new one. I have a replacement right here. So, let's go and see if I can get that out of there. Meantime, I'm going to take this kit that I got to rebuild the master cylinder. And I'm going to soak it in some hydraulic fluid. Or not hydraulic fluid, brake fluid. There we go. I'll let her sit in there for a little bit and take this big punch and try to drive this out. Yep, it broke. As I thought. So I'm going to get my slide hammer and see if I can pull it out. As you can see, I've gotten it pulled out. This is in a sparing puller. And there's a gasket down in here that I'm going to pull out. Let's get a pick. Pull that out of there. Nope, I went to seal. Got that pulled out. And while well, I have it apart, I'm going to have it up here. I'm going to pull this gasket out. Should be a little rubber seal down in here. That's what's left of it. And there's a snap ring down in here I have to get out. I got the clip out. It's pretty rusty. And uh, here's the plunger. And there's a little gasket down in here. I should say this is a rod. There's a seal in here which is shot. There's another spring in behind here. Get it out. There we go. That spring, or that plunger. spring and I think that's it. Just got to clean that out. This is a new O-ring. Let me sit that down in there. Let me lube this up a little bit and hopefully it'll slide right in. Hopefully I can get something that fits exactly around there I can tap on it. I've got it pretty close. I used this clamp here, crossed it, and then squeezed it together. It seemed to work pretty good. Shouldn't leak. We'll see once I get her filled up. Here's the spring. I have to reuse the old one. I think I'm going to put the plunger on top of there before I put it in. without messing it up. And then the new rod or cylinder, whatever you call it. Now I gotta try to get this. in there. Should get it back in there. There we go. I don't know if it's down in the whole way.
Seems like it is. I gotta get this boot down over it. I think for that, I'm gonna put a little grease over the end of here. Put some down in here. Just want to tap this in there. Seems to be good. I'm put this on. I'm gonna push this down in there. I'm gonna take a small punch. Push around the outside diameter here. Make sure that the boot is down in there. Seems to be in there pretty good. And what I have to, have to do is put this back on. Of course, the right way. There we go. Put the bolt in. Tighten that back down. Put the nut on. And then we should be ready to put it back on the bike. Yes, I can. Okay, and I lined it up with a little dot on the top, a little dimple. Looks pretty good. I'm going to tighten this union bolt to 11 or 10 foot pounds, also. It should be good. Uh, actually, I want to fill this up and bleed it out. Oh well, I'll see if I can bleed it out the whole way down through then. Put some of this dot 3 synthetic fluid in it. You gotta open it. Yeah, I'm gonna go down to the wheels and bleed them out. Okay, it's clear now. We'll go to the other side. <clears throat> Got that tightened up to 10 foot pounds. Put the boot back over it. Put the wires back on for the switch. Switch so I can read it. Should be good. Looks like I don't have any leaks there, so that's good. Brake's working good. I 
I'm going to put the inner back on. millimeter to tighten that down. Hold on to this. That should be good. And then I have to straighten this out then. Something's not quite right with the throttle. That's it for rebuilding the master cylinder for my front brakes on my 1983 Honda Shadow VT750C. Hope you like this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching and stay safe.